Hello and welcome to the Palletful Packs YouTube channel. My name is Alice and I have the August 2022 Palletful Premier Packs here in front of me. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Ooh, that's a cute sticker. Oh my God, this reminds me of Stardew Valley. That's so cute. I love that little pixel art sticker. Oh, we have liquid charcoal in here. This is cool. So this is a liquid charcoal. Let's open it up and see. Oh, oh, this is a big tube. So we have a full 50 milliliter tube of Nitram, Nitram, Nitram Fusanes liquid charcoal, um, which is like a charcoal in a paint form that we can use. We have this set of charcoal also by Nitram, the Academy of Fusanes. I'm probably pronouncing all of this so wrong. Um, let's open this up. It looks like we've got a charcoal themed set this month. All right, so it looks like we have a set of vine charcoal here. One, two, three, four, five of them. Five of these charcoals here. Perfect, nice long sticks. What else is in here? Got a bunch of pencils. Oh, and a paintbrush. Let's start with the paintbrush. This is a Simmons paintbrush. It's a size 10 filbert, really, really big brush. So we can create some really nice washes with that charcoal, kind of set up the background of the image. This is really cool. This is a really nice big brush. Look at that. Woo. Then we have in here a Lyra Rembrandt pencil. This looks like it's gonna be a medium charcoal pencil, nice and black, so that'll be helpful for getting in those lines. We've got another brush in here, a smaller brush. This is a Princeton number no. six round. So this is gonna be perfect for getting in more details with that charcoal paint. We've got another charcoal brush. This is by Generals, and this is gonna be a 2B. And then we have this white Carbothello pastel pencil by Stabilo that's gonna be perfect for adding in white highlights on top of all of our charcoal. We have a plastic mono Tombow eraser, um, which will be so helpful for picking up little details and cleaning up our image. Ooh, we have these chamois, is that how it's pronounced? Um, sheets, they're five by seven, and this is for blending out and smudging pastels, graphite, charcoal. You can blend, lighten um, a heavy application to give it a nice smooth finish, um, and you can rinse them after use, so you can reuse them, which is really nice. And then we have the surface down here. Looks like it's by Canson. So the surface is gonna be this XL pad of Canson paper. It's nine by 12, 98 pounds, and you're gonna get 40 sheets. And this is actually a gray paper. So it's gonna be this nice medium tone. It's got a really nice kind of like sandpaper rough texture to it. So it's really gonna grab onto that charcoal. And we can use this as the mid-tone. So we can use that charcoal to add the darks and then that white pencil to add in highlights on top of it. Okay, so we have all of these charcoal-y supplies here. We've got some liquid charcoal eraser. We have some charcoal sticks. We've got some stuff to blend it out with. We've got those brushes to use with the liquid charcoal, a couple charcoal pencils, and that white pastel pencil as well. And then that really, really unique gray surface. So we've got a bunch of really unique and interesting supplies. I'm really excited to play around with these. A lot of them are supplies and textures and surfaces that I haven't used before. So let's go ahead, jump on into it and make some art. So the first thing that I wanted to do was figure out how all of these supplies were going to work together. So I started off, I was going to do some swatches, but then I decided to actually draw just like a simple little eye to try to play around with things. So I started with the Fusain's charcoal. So these are breakage resistant charcoal sticks and they blend really easily. These charcoal sticks specifically are a really soft grade, so you can blend them out and almost like erase them as you're blending. So they're really, really perfect for your intro sketch. So that's why I started with those was to just loosely lay down where it was going to be. And then I went in with the general pencil charcoal pencil. This one is kind of like a medium black, I would say. This one is not as black as the Lyra one. The Lyra one is really, really black. So I felt like the general pencil, which is the orange pencil, um, was the best for kind of adding in those mid-tones. And then I went back in with that Lyra, which is actually a grease pencil. And that provides really, really, really dark black. 
um, color that I was able to use for some of those lashes and the crease where the um, uh, the eye is. And then I used that eraser to tidy things up a little bit. I turned that first swatch into a little eyebrow and kind of adding in a little highlight. I went in with this white Carbothello pastel pencil, which are super, super pigmented and added in a really, really nice white right away so I could really pop that highlight. And then I played around with the liquid charcoal, which like I said, is water soluble. You can use it as like a watercolor. And while I didn't use this, you can actually use it like right out of the tube. It's really thick like oil paint and it can be worked with a palette knife. So that's something that sounds like a really interesting application that I might have to try sometime. Moving on to the actual piece, I was inspired by my little practice sketch and I decided to draw an eye. So I texted my sister and got a reference photo of her eye and started with the Fusain's charcoal because again, like I said, it's really perfect for starting out a sketch because you can see you can blend it out into a really light tone. So you can still keep your sketch underneath and see what's going on, but it's not too dark and it doesn't get in the way as you're adding in details and building things up. So I started with that and then I went in with some of these pencils going back and forth between the two different pencils. Like I said, one was a little darker than the other. So I just kind of went with whichever one made the most sense for the area that I was working in. So I'm using the slightly lighter one, which is the charcoal general pencil to add in some color, uh, some shading in the eye. And then I'm using that darker one, the grease pencil to add in some darker colors in the center of the eye. Once I have the overall idea and shape of the sketch put down, I'm gonna go in with the liquid charcoal and I'm gonna start adding in some shading. I wanted to use the liquid charcoal as a base and then go back over with the charcoal um, pencils. So I kept everything really loose and I wasn't too concerned about detail because it was more just like the base of everything and providing certain bits of shading. But I did add some detail in the eye with the smaller brush, which um, was really nice to use um, and I was able to get some fine details especially in the lash line and things like that. Once that was dry I went back in to deepen the shading again using that um, charcoal general pencil. I'm going back and forth between using my finger and the chamois de smudge. It just kind of depends on what area that I'm working in and what I feel like is going to be easiest for me to use. Um, and just darkening the center of the eye. I work in a lot of layers here and you can see that you can really get with that grease pencil a really nice dark black, especially once you blend it out. I definitely recommend like with every type of charcoal or graphite that you're intentional with your mark making because no matter how much you smudge it, you're still probably going to see some of your mark baking underneath. So try to move your marks in the direction that the shading is going. So for example, I'm shading the eye and I am moving my marks from the center of the pupil out to the outside of the eye or you know, vice versa. I'm not moving them left to right. I'm not moving them in a different direction from the way the eye goes, if that makes sense. I'm using the chamois to add in some blending and blend in little kind of um, almost like star. I don't really know how to describe it, but you know, with an eye, they've got lots of little like um, lines in them. So I use that to kind of blend out from the edge and from the pupil. And then I went in with the white and started adding in some highlights. And this is where things really started to come to life and pop. So it was really cool to see this adding in those highlights. I used the chamois to blend them out a little bit. And for the actual eye white itself, I went on and put on quite a bit of that white and then blended it all out so that it looked smooth and added in some highlights as well on top of that. And I think it worked out really well. I then had to go in and add more detail around the eye so it looked like it was sitting in that socket. So adding in some detail to the corner of the eye and blending that out and trying to define the lash line and the water line and make sure that that looks right. As you can see, I'm using the gray tone paper as that mid-tone. So I'm adding in the darks and then I was adding in the lights with that white. Um, that's one of the things that's perfect about these mid-toned papers is you can really use them that way and you can kind of add in those highlights, add in those shadows, and it makes it really nice to carve in your shading. Um, this paper has that really cool sandpaper texture, so it really does cling and pick up onto your um, charcoal, but you can also blend it away and erase it really easily. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. 
Once I was done with more of those details, I went in for the final touch of the eyelashes, which was definitely a little intimidating because I really didn't want to mess them up after spending so long on the eye. But I used the darkest pencil, that um, Lyra grease pencil, and I went in and just slowly built them up. I also added in some slightly lighter lashes with the other pencil. It's really useful to be able to jump back and forth between two different types of um, pencil grades to get different strengths of blackness to add more depth and variety to your artwork. So that's it. That is what I made with this charcoal kit. I hope that you enjoyed it and it gave you some ideas on different ways to use these materials. Um, and I can't wait to see what everyone makes with this charcoal kit. I really enjoyed using all of these unique and different supplies, especially the liquid charcoal because it was very new to me and I was excited. I'm excited about the idea that you can use it with a palette knife. So yeah, if you like this video and you'd like to get your own palettable packs, then definitely click the link in the description box below to join us and get your own box every single month. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.